So in other words, you matter. You are needed. You are important. You are worthy. We need you. This is what this is saying. And the way we, we discover that we matter, that we are needed, that we are worthy, that we are enough is by electing to change all thoughts that hurt. And when we elect to change all thoughts that hurt, we shift from fear to love, from pain to joy, which aligns us with God's will, the universal will, which is goodness and joy and peace and love and happiness for all. And so when you heal in your mind, you are contributing to the changing of the world. But when you heal your mind and you're aligned with love, you will also be guided in changing the world. This is saying you don't need to do anything to change the world until you've changed your mind so that you can follow guidance as to what you are to do in this world. So just like I have a particular part, you have a particular part. And when I do my particular part and you do your particular part and everyone else does their particular part, we all are a puzzle piece in the puzzle of God's plan for peace. And once we've all laid our puzzles, we now will have a reflection of the healed mind, the one mind, the mind of love, so we can finally experience heaven and peace on earth instead of war, pain, and conflict. So it starts with deciding that you have a part to play, even if you don't know what it is. You won't know what it is until you're ready for it, and then you will be told. But there's no room for doubt just because you haven't been told it yet. You will be told the more you demonstrate your willingness to change your mind. 